Hi, I'm Diva from Musical Hell, and I know the score. Last Broadway season was an unusually good one for musicals, so I want to take some time to discuss another recent favorite. Today's Musicals 101, the 9-11 story that's the feel-good show of the year. Trust me, it works. Welcome to the rack if you come from away. You probably understand about a half of what we say. Come From Away is based on the true story of Gander, a town in Newfoundland whose airport was a major refueling stop in North America before the development of the jet engine rendered the facility obsolete. Obsolete, that is, until September 11, 2001, when the closure of American airspace in the wake of the terrorist attacks forced 38 airplanes carrying roughly 7,000 passengers into Gander for an unexpected five-day layover. The musical weaves a collage of stories as the residents of Gander and the stranded travelers, those who, in the local parlance, have come from away, cope with the situation and struggle to get their bearings in a world that's been irrevocably altered. It's not easy to write an uplifting story with a major historical event as the backdrop without making it feel sentimental, false, or manipulative. Anybody remember Remember Me? Yeah. That Irene Sankoff and David Hine have kept come from away from falling into this trap speaks very highly of them as writers. They do this through direct narration to the audience, a device that the musical shares with two of my other favorite shows from recent history, Hamilton and Natasha, Pierre, and the Great Comet of 1812. But while Hamilton uses narration to humanize figures from history, and Great Comet employs it to demonstrate the beauty of Tolstoy's prose, Come From Away creates an immediate and real connection with the audience by evoking the sense of flashbulb memory. Flashbulb memory is the tendency for our recollections to become extremely vivid during significant events in our lives. Whether it's a personal event, like a proposal or the death of a loved one, or a historic event like 9-11. The opening number, Welcome to the Rock, connects the audience with the residents of Gander by having them share their flashbulb memories with us. Everyone in town has a story about what they were doing the morning of September 11th, as does everyone in the audience above a certain age. I'm running my radar when Bonnie comes by. She pulls off and she's waving at me like mad. So I roll down my window and she says, Oz, turn on the radio. Slow it down, Bonnie. Oz, turn on your radio. You are here at the start of a moment on the edge of the world where the river meets the sea. The hours that follow are a muddle of conflicting emotions. Confusion, fear, hysteria, relief, and it's remarkable how well Sankoff and Hein have captured that bizarre psychological cocktail. At times, the score is haunting and tense, like in Darkness and Trees, where the plain people are taken from the airport to a place that feels as frightening and foreign as the situation they are in. Into the darkness, but on the Other songs like Blankets and Bedding and On the Edge are frantic with anxiety and helplessness as the characters are driven to distraction by the round the clock news coverage of the disaster. My help is there something I need to do something to keep me from thinking of all of those scenes on the tour. I need something to do because I can't watch the news. No, I can't watch the news anymore. While Costume Party is strangely bright, almost surreal, emphasizing the disconnected feeling of being in a strange place in clothes that are not yours, trying to cope with a world you no longer recognize. It's like any of us could have died on Tuesday, and like we're dared to see things differently today. I'm feeling different, distant, strange. Who are these people here? Where am I? No one knows me here. Who am I if I don't feel like the me from yesterday? But there are moments of light and humor glimmering throughout the darkness. 
This is where the Newfoundland folk sound of Come From Away serves it best. With Irish-rooted motifs and instruments, songs like Screechin' are irresistibly lively and display a fierce sense of local pride. Hey, hey, come on inside, nothing but your nothing tried. If only a couple of people cried, you'll be out of the land. My favorite use of folk motifs in this musical has to be in prayer, which combines the traditional hymn, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace, with a Jewish prayer and a Hindu mantra. The folk instruments take up the melodies of other cultures and weave them together, creating the sense of this small Canadian community embracing the world. Because community is ultimately the theme of Come From Away. It's about reaching across differences to find our shared humanity, something that we sadly seem the most open to in times of great struggle. And as the generation who grew up after 9-11 reaches adulthood, this musical is a powerful testament to an example of the resilience of kindness and compassion, even in the darkest of circumstances. I'm Diva, I know the score, and now, so do you. In the winter from the water to water, and the wind to the water to the ground from the